called Learning to Ski with Mr. McGee. It is written and illustrated by Chris Van Dusen. One winter morning at 6.53, Mr. McGee and his little dog Dee woke to fresh snow and a beautiful sky and decided it's time to give skiing a try. Before we drive all the way up to Mount Snow, follow me Dee, I know right where to go. Across from the house and just up the way is a great little hill with a view of the bay. We'll practice up there till we learn how to ski, then we'll head for the mountain, said Mr. McGee. A few minutes later, they came to a spot where nothing could get in their way, McGee thought. So he put on his skis, Dee hopped in the pack, and with poles in his hands and his dog on his back, he inched to the edge very slowly until his skis teeter-tottered, then started downhill. Not far down the hillside from Mr. McGee, and just out of sight, there happened to be a curious moose. He was out on a search for the succulent sticks of the great northern birch. Then he spotted a tree, the biggest he'd seen, on the opposite side of a gaping ravine. The moose turned around, and what did he see? Mr. McGee and his little dog, Dee. The moose was so shocked he stood frozen in fear, but Mr. McGee hadn't learned how to steer, and he knew very soon they were going to collide, so he called to the moose, would you please step aside? But the moose didn't move, so McGee yelled, duck! And that was the moment they ran out of luck, because while they were sliding right under the moose, the tips of the skis snagged the log of a spruce. In a flash and a flip, they flew over the log, tossing poor Mr. Gee and his dog head over heels straight into the gap. When the ends of the skis came down with a slap. So there they were, stranded McGee and his pup, across a ravine a hundred feet up. They hung there suspended, not making a sound. When the moose came back, he looked all around. He didn't see Dee or McGee, but what's this? A bridge to the birch above the abyss? The moose took a step. He was steady and slow, but his weight caused the skis to sag and to bow. And when he looked down, his heart skipped a beat, for Mr. McGee was right under his feet. With a snort, the moose leapt. The skis went spring. They popped in the air with a zip and a zing. And up like a rocket shot Dee and McGee. Landing feet first, just as safe as can be. Well, that was exciting, said Mr. McGee. But I'm not really sure we learned how to ski. I think that I might need a lesson or two. I think that perhaps it's the best thing to do. And when we get home, he said with a smile, we'll let someone else use the skis for a while.